outfit, Murdoch? I don't know. I feel like I've seen myself before. I feel strangely powerful. bomb disposal unit sir i want your best explosive sniffing animal and i want him now does the colonel have written authority for such a request soldier we're we going to stand here and argue over a piece of paper when hundreds of lives are on the line i don't understand sir you don't understand uh, i hate to break security i believe colonel in this instance that security is not an essential factor right Soldier, what I'm about to tell you is highly classified and intended for your ears only. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Somehow, someone or some highly organized group of individuals has managed to plant a bomb in the Hungarian ambassador's residence. That bomb is not dismantled, soldier. We're talking Hungarian gulosh. We have uh, less than 60 minutes to find and defuse that device. Now, uh, Sergeant Murdoch here has already begun the search, but... Uh, Unfortunately, his uh, canine explosives detector was killed in the line of duty. What was his name? Leader. I'm on the leader. He was on the force for 13 years. He was sniffing petunias when suddenly, kaboom, dead dog. The last thing he said to me was... <laughs> well, Sergeant, we're running out of valuable time here. Yes, sir. It isn't going to fly gracefully. I mean, it wasn't exactly a smooth flyer before we weighted her down. Now it's going to be like flying a Brinks truck. Murdoch, we must just persevere. We shall make the skies safe for Mumsy Daddy and Buckingham. God save the Queen. At least give it a break. Murdoch, could we hurry up? Sure, anything you want. B.A. and I'll take care of the garbage detail, because I know exactly what Hannibal wants. First, we're going to hit the industrial areas. And then we're going to hit Restaurant Row. They got great garbage. I shall return. Garbage! No. No, I don't hear nothing. Are you sure? <laughs> well, I don't hear nothing, but if you're positive, that's what you heard on the track. I'm warning you. I had enough of you talking to your invisible friend. Does he look invisible? Huh? You can't see him? Invisible or not, I don't want you talking to nothing to nobody. Got that? Well, I'm sorry. But I'm not the one with the bad attitude. And when someone talks to me, I feel obliged to respond in kind. It's not a somebody, it's a horse. And horses don't talk. A uh, horse is a horse, of course, of course. And no one can talk to a horse, of course, unless of course the horse, of course, the famous Mr. Rock. Murdoch, any sign? <laughs> B.A., take your hand off Murdoch's throat. Yeah. It says, there... ain't no train coming. Who's that? Guess. <laughs> Train coming, muchachos. And I ain't telling you who told us. Do you think the patient is going to make it, Doctor? How you ever gonna make it on the outside world? If you keep making a fool out yourself. I'm thinking about a career in medicine. The only thing you should be doing in medicine is using it for your head. Now, how much time do we have? About half a tank. What's that? Um, sounds like noise. Get out of here! Yo, you want to kill yourself? Am I going to die, dude? Hello in there. Now, B.A., 
Involuntary paralyzation is one of the primary symptoms of panic anxiety, so just try to breathe deep. Okay, forget deep and just try to breathe. Trust me, I am an expert in my field. <clears throat> Paul Merauer, is that the cat a choo choo? Come on, man! Hannibal's got this whole thing locked down! Okay, B.A., if you can hear me, blink. Raise your eyebrow. Smirk. Smile. Wince. Come on, B.A. If you stay like this, they're gonna stand you in front of a bank holding a clock. Mm. Take him on down. What the heck happened to him anyway? Oh, man, you got some guys with white eyeballs living on the other side of that ridge. I mean, I've seen some crazy guys in my time. I've been in a whole ward full of them, but I've never seen anybody like those. They did that to him? Well, it wasn't a gray furry squirrel with a shotgun. Now get, get, before he croaks. I'm on the way. By the way, would you mind awfully if I borrowed your shiny little chopper? Absolutely not. It's no problem, pal. Well, that's very kind of you. Yes, I certainly take good care of it. You Americans certainly know how to take care of your friends from across the seas. Have you had dinner yet, by the way, pal? Maybe we could get together later. Oh, great. And you're not going to be there to give the performance. What are we going to use? Well, I told him he was crazy. I am crazy, Willie. Bino. Bino, you know, it rhymes with Dino. What's the matter? You don't understand English? Dino, everybody loves somebody. What's the matter? You think I'm wearing a piece? I'm clean. I'm running a business here, not a shooting gallery. All right, we're going to make this nice and simple. We either get our truck back or we bury you underneath this store. Forgive me for not laughing, but I always find the baby's first step to be a very serious thing. Nobody comes in here and threatens me under my own roof, especially when I'm eating a tuna fish sandwich. Smith said this guy was Looney Tunes. Looney Tunes, huh? What other TV program do you watch regularly? All right, I don't know what your game is. But we want that truck back. The only thing that Crazy Willie ever gives back is trouble. You mess around with one of my boys, I rip off one of your trucks. Fair is fair. Can I help you with anything? This is a friend of mine. We call him Mayhem. All right, you want a war? We'll give you a war. Mm -hmm. All right. Red, and you're dead. Take one off the top. It's your lucky day. You don't even get to bleed on the carpet. Now, you tell your friends, I sell auto parts. If they want some, Make sure you come down here and see me. I'll provide the lunch. OK, 
Okay, Murdoch, you're on. See a hearse go by and think that someday you'd surely die. They put you in a little box and cover you over with dirt and rocks. How am I doing? Who <laughs> sent you here? Hey, wait, man. I'm, look, I'm just a driver. I mean, you know what I mean? I'm not even supposed to sing, but Chiquita Banana got hung up at Valley Presbyterian. Get out of here. What, what about the song? You got two more verses, Kevin. You. Ow. put his head inside and suffocate. Trash bags! Oh. Trash bags? Give me a trash bag. I want a trash bag. Where do these morons come from? Trash bag! New trash bag! Trash bag! Trash bag! Need trash bag! Trash bag? 